It's been a while. I've been not really making anything. I've been doing a bit of DIY and uh, sort of trying to ignore the electronic side of things because uh, it's just a bit of a, a pain, as everybody knows, you know, getting electronics or getting components at the moment is uh it's just a it just makes the hobby a bit of a chore and uh, obviously we're in the middle of a sort of financial crisis as well you know sort of cost of living crisis so you know i, I can't see me until this sort of freeze up i'll just be doing drives and drabs um but it's you know it's not it's no fun <laughs> it's no fun at the moment but uh i uh, i'll be watching uh stefan wagner who's a, a really, really clever guy. Uh, he does a lot of, produces incredible amounts, very prolific, incredible amount of stuff per year. Uh, you know, uh, GitHub is just full of um, electronics that he's designed. And, uh, but I noticed he put up a video about a month ago of a radio. I've never done a radio and um, I, I just like the look at it. It's really one of his best looking ones, I think, anyway. <laughs> Uh, but I, I, you know, I'm short of a radio, so I thought I'd give it a go. So this is it. This is Stefan Wagner's design. And uh, this is still a little bit prototypey. I mean, I have this uh, cut out back because I wanted to see um, clearances and stuff. The speaker is not completely glued in there. And obviously the wiring, the antenna is a little bit, a little bit rough. So it does work. But it's just a little bit uh, prototypey at the moment. I'll be making a few more of these uh, for gifts uh, for friends. Because it, it just financially, it just it's worth making a few rather than just one. Because this one on its own would cost uh, crazy money. Whereas if you make sort of five or ten, give them away as gifts. At least you you feel don't feel like such an idiot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's turn it on. Very simple design using an AT tiny. I just want the two of you to make the most of your lives while you can. I was down, but that sounds like the Archers, which is a UK long running series. As well, call Rob from five thirty oh three. Got volume up and down there, and the automatic tuner. Haley Led of Wales and Manchester United in the centre circle. Swan looking for Harding. She's beaten in the air, but Ignor collects on it. Anyway, really nice design because it's uh, it's so compact. It uh, there's just no frills there at all. Charging port, on-off switch, three buttons, LCD screen, not LCD. Oh, OLED, OLED screen. And uh, it's just very uh, minimalistic. Um, that, that does have one couple of slight disadvantages, obviously, because you've got this very fragile screen on there, which does worry me, especially as I'm giving away a few of these to friends and family. Uh, it does worry me. I know what, you know, people are klutzes and they'll just, they'll drop this thing. So that's the only disadvantage is there's the, um, obviously, worry of people sort of perforating the speaker and, smashing the screen but that's on them isn't it tough luck <laughs> tough luck but it, I'm, I'm not uh i mean the thing is it, very difficult to do anything about that in a very compact design like this so i'm not saying that's a defect i'm just saying that's uh it worries me giving these things away but i shall be giving them the you know the, the warnings and then as i said it's down to them but uh beautifully designed bit of electronics uh, as always from stefan wagner and um, it, uh, it's not hugely costly. I mean, I don't usually go into costs on uh, in my videos, but uh, I did cost this one. And if I hadn't have, like got ripped off from AliExpress and made a few mistakes, uh, it would have been about £15 per radio. Uh, I don't know what that's in dollars, maybe about 18 And I'm... Um, I was, I was hoping I'd like to add things to a project and I was hoping to add a little extendable aerial to this. It does have room in there for this. And uh, I thought that would have been, you know, plug that into a uh, jack, which I bought the jacks as well. <laughs> and uh, I thought that would have been a cool, cool little addition. Unfortunately, 
trial and error has proven that these things uh, don't do anything. Well, they hardly do anything. I mean, I know it's all about quarter wavelengths, half wavelengths, and this is not really the right size, but, uh, you know, I thought it'd do something, and it just it doesn't. So, <laughs> um, you know, these things will have a trailing wire. This one's a very thin one, which and the thickness doesn't really matter, but uh, I think on the ones I give away, they'll be uh, thicker. Probably, um, uh, well, silicon, silicon wire. So yeah, uh, there was a few issues. The main chip on the uh, few issues with procurement, not with the design at all, um, which worked brilliantly. Uh, but uh, procurement problems, you know, just this this hobby. So I, I got everything from I got everything from L. What's it called? Uh, LSCS, which is part of um, JLP. There's a, there seems to be a group of three companies. I don't know what the you know what the deal is with them, but uh, there's a LCSC Electronics, which I'd never bought them before, but I noticed that uh, Stefan was a fan, or he you know he'd got his stuff from there. So I, I thought you know I'll give it a go, and I was very very impressed with their. Uh, service. I mean, they're sending from China, and it took about the same time as ordering from Mauser, which is amazing. I mean, Mauser sends from Europe to the UK, and it still takes about ten days. Uh, whereas these guys, anyway, just really impressed. I'm not, uh, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just saying that this is the first time I've used them, and I was like stunned. Really, eleven days to get to the UK. All the parts are correct. They all work. Brilliantly done, well done, you know, and I, I use their other stuff as well. I always get my uh, PCBs made by JLB PCB, and I use the Easy EDA uh, circuit, the uh, PCB designer as well. So phew, they were good. I had to get some stuff from AliExpress. Unfortunately, as I said, I, I bought the 80 tiny 412s from there. Don't do that. I got a bunch of fakes, which uh, you know cost me twenty dollars uh, down the toilet because you never get a refund from AliExpress. Uh, the other components that had to come from AliExpress was the um, RDA five five eight zero seven MP, which is the actual FM tuner. That wasn't available anywhere apart from AliExpress. Fortunately, those turned up and they worked, um, so you can get most of this gear. I think everything you can get, apart from the batteries, the batteries, uh, you can even get the speakers from uh, LCSC, which I'd recommend. And uh, so the batteries and the FM tuner had to come from AliExpress. They, they work, so that's fine. So yeah, this thing, um, cost-wise, I made a few mistakes. And... Uh, Made a few mistakes. I think, well, not really mistakes, but I mean, I, I had a I had a crack. I got to ten. You know, where is it? Got a bag of these, which uh, junk. And uh, I'm going to make ten radios because uh, I always make a couple of things and give them away, and then somebody's unhappy since <laughs> so they didn't get one. So now I've got ten. I'm going to build ten of these and just give them all away. Um, yeah, great, great job. Check Stefan Wagner's uh, stuff out. Um, yeah, the PCBs, I don't know why I'm pimping these guys because they, they don't pay me or anything, but uh, they, they always do a good job. And even on the, um, the cheapest postage, you know, you do still get these in about two to three weeks. That's with, you know, there's the absolute basic postage, like a deck of cards. So these always turn out pretty well from uh, JLB PCB. So that's a PCB. Brilliant design PCB. And I, uh, you know, it's kind of what you'd expect from this guy because he, he just really knows what he's doing. <laughs> Unlike sort of hacks like me, you just sort of make it up and, and sort of attempt things. But he's got the uh, programming um, there, so you can you can solder the uh, ATtiny four one two or four o two there, and then program 
in situ, which is great. Uh, yeah, no, no issues with that at all, apart from a couple of things. I mean, you use very, very small components, and I, I'm a hand solderer, so, well, you know, it's part of the fun, isn't it? Uh, but it was quite, quite a challenge to get these components soldered by hand. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna solder it on camera. I know people love that thing, and I I'd be into it as well. If somebody soon as soon as somebody gets out the soldering iron, you're like, oh, I gotta watch this, you know. <laughs> uh, so I should really do some soldering, and I'll probably put some bullshit bullshit soldering in the <laughs> in the video <laughs> in a minute, and uh, and that's it really. Thanks for watching.